Let's talk about chart patterns. Chart patterns are a graphic representation of the demand and supply situation in a market. Volume is an important consideration in the validity of chart patterns, both while the pattern is in progress and during its breakout. There are two kinds of chart patterns, a reversal pattern and the continuation pattern. A reversal pattern indicates that the trend will reverse once the pattern is complete. So the first requirement for a reversal pattern is an existing trend. Reversal patterns could occur at the top of the trend or at the bottom of the trend. And of course, size matters. The bigger the pattern, the stronger the move is likely to be once a breakout from the pattern materializes. Now the second requirement for a reversal pattern to materialize is a break above a trend line resistance for a bullish breakout or a break below the trend line support for a bearish breakout. This signals a shift in the demand and supply balance of the market. The third requirement is volume. When price breakouts happen, it should be accompanied by volumes above the 20-day average. Some examples of reversal patterns are the head and shoulders pattern, the inverted head and shoulders pattern, double top reversal patterns, double bottom reversal pattern, the falling wedge, and the rising wedge reversal patterns. Now, another kind of chart pattern is the continuation pattern. Continuation patterns indicate that the trend will continue on completion of the pattern. Continuation patterns are also called consolidation patterns because they allow price action to take a break before moving further in the general direction of the trend. Some examples of continuation patterns include flag and pennant patterns, symmetrical triangles, and cup and handle. An important advantage of being able to recognize chart patterns is that chart patterns tell us where price is likely to be headed based on the bias of the chart pattern. So after analyzing chart patterns, you will be able to know whether a stock is likely to be bullish or bearish after the completion of the pattern. It is important to remember that chart patterns could also fail. Flags and pennants are continuation patterns. They are short-term consolidation zones within a trend. When flags and pennants are completed, the resulting move is usually a strong vertical price move that is called a pull. Bull flags and bull pennants are bullish patterns within an uptrend. In contrast, bear flags and bear pennants are bearish patterns within a downtrend. The stock price chart of Starbucks Corporation shows flags and pennants within an uptrend. On completion of these flags and pennants, we see strong price movements upward which are called poles. The cup and handle pattern is a bullish continuation pattern that looks like a cup with a handle. It is a consolidation pattern that materializes on a price breakout from the handle's resistance on volume above the 20-day average. If Home Depot Inc. shows a cup and handle pattern, the breakout from the pattern led to the price target which is computed as the breakout point plus the cup range X. The inverted cup and handle pattern is a bearish continuation pattern. It is a consolidation period that may be followed by a bearish breakout at the support. In the same way, volume should also be above the 20-day average for a valid breakout. This chart of Starbucks Inc. shows an inverted cup and handle pattern. So the target for this pattern is support less the range X. Triangles could be reversal or continuation patterns. They require at least two highs and two lows to create the top and bottom boundaries of the triangles. Triangles may last from weeks to months. The price target for a breakout from a triangle is the vertical distance of the high and the low at the start of the pattern. Volume typically contracts near the end of the pattern. When price breaks above or below the pattern, the volume should expand. An ascending triangle is a bullish pattern. When found at the bottom of a trend, it may indicate accumulation and may lead to a bullish reversal in trend. When found in the middle of a trend, it is a continuation pattern that results in a price breakout in the direction of the general trend. 
We also see an ascending triangle pattern in the chart of Moderna Inc. This is a bullish pattern formed at the bottom of the chart. So price broke above that $180 level and even managed to move past its target after breakout. Now we see a descending triangle pattern in the chart of Boeing Company Inc. So when the price broke below the support of the descending triangle pattern, it was able to reach the price target of support minus the range X. Of course, prices can always exceed your target price. It just gives an estimate of possible um, price targets for the pattern. Symmetrical triangles are neutral patterns. The symmetrical triangle present in the chart of JP Morgan Chase resulted in a bullish breakout. So we measure the X, the range from the top to the bottom of the beginning of the triangle and add that to the breakout point which results in the price target. So we have the resistance plus the X results in the price target for this move. Boxes are areas of consolidation that consist of several candlesticks where the price high comprises the box top and the price lows comprise the box bottom. If price breaks above the box then we have a bullish breakout. The target would be the range of the box plus the breakout point above the box. If price breaks below the box, then we have a bearish breakout, the target of which is the support minus the range X. This chart of Walmart shows a bullish breakout above a box pattern. The price broke above the resistance of the box at 57.50. So we take the range X and we add that to the resistance point 57.50 to get the target price price was able to reach that target price and even exceeded and then it formed another box. We take the range of the box X and add that to the breakout point at $80 to achieve the price target. As you will notice, price was able to achieve that price target and then proceeded with a correction later on. Double tops and double bottoms are reversal patterns. In a double bottom pattern, the existing trend is a downtrend. It is made up of two consecutive throws that are roughly equal with a moderate throw in between. The trend changes from bearish to bullish. Volume accelerates during the ascent from the second throw to show strong positive sentiment. The breakout above the resistance must show an increase in volume. When a breakout happens, the resistance becomes support. This chart of NVIDIA Corporation shows a double bottom pattern. Price was on a downtrend. After bouncing off the first low, it revisited that same low and then eventually broke above the downtrend line. After breaking above the downtrend line, it also broke above the horizontal resistance at 47.50. So we get the range X of the double bottom pattern. We add that to 47.50 to get our target price at 62.50. In a double top pattern, the existing trend is an uptrend. It is made up of two consecutive peaks that are roughly equal with a moderate throw in between. The trend changes from bullish to bearish. The advance of the lows that form the second peak has low volume. The decline from the second peak sees an expansion in volume. This is the chart of Macy's Inc. Price was on an uptrend. After touching a first high, it revisited that same point creating a double top pattern. However, price broke below the trend line. So we measure X. We take the support line at 36 and we subtract the range X from that value to get the target price. A falling wedge is a bullish reversal pattern made up of an upper and lower trend line that converge. The upper trend line is the resistance. Once broken, the target is a breakout point plus the range of the falling wedge X. The breakout must be accompanied by volume expansion. The chart of Alibaba Group Inc. shows a falling wedge pattern that concluded in 2017. Price broke above the upper trend line of the falling wedge at $90. We add the range X to the breakout point to get the target of $100.
The target only refers to the falling wedge pattern. This does not mean, however, that the price will not go up any further. A strong rally followed that brought the price up to $190 by the end of the same year. A rising wedge is a bearish reversal pattern made up of an upper and lower trend line that converge. The lower trend line is a support. Once broken, the target is a breakout point minus the range of the rising wedge X. Volume declines as the price rises. Support must be accompanied by volume expansion as bearish confirmation. The chart of MasterCard Inc. shows a rising wedge pattern. Price broke below the lower trend line of the rising wedge pattern. The price target is a bearish breakout point minus the range X. A head and shoulders pattern is a reversal pattern made up of a peak or a left shoulder, followed by a higher peak or the head, and then another lower peak or the right shoulder. A neckline connects the lowest points of the throws horizontally. The line can be horizontal or sloped up or down. When the slope is down, it produces a more reliable signal. The price target, if the neckline is violated, is based on the height of the head X, which is subtracted to the neckline's price value. The inverse head and shoulders pattern is a bullish reversal pattern that is made up of an inverted throw or shoulder followed by a lower throw, a head, and then another lower throw which is a shoulder. When price breaks above the inverse head and shoulders pattern, it should be accompanied by above average volume. Chart of Bitcoin USDT shows a head and shoulders pattern. Price broke below the neckline of that head and shoulders pattern at $48,000 and reach the target of 28,000 which is 48,000 minus the range of the head to the neckline. An inverse head and shoulders pattern is spotted on the chart of Walmart Inc. which shows a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. Uh, after price broke above that uh, resistance or the neckline of the inverse head and shoulders pattern at uh, $74, price achieved a target of $82. Summary, today we talked about chart patterns, the difference between continuation patterns and reversal patterns, the difference between bullish and bearish patterns, how to find price targets, the importance of volume, and the fact that sometimes patterns fail. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if this channel was any help to you. See you next time. Bye.